Mr. Smith. I'm Elisa. I've been eagerly anticipating joining your dance classes. Hello, Eliza. It's a pleasure to meet you. Welcome to our dance studio. What sparked your interest in dancing? Well, I've always been captivated by ballet performances. The grace and storytelling through movement are incredibly inspiring. And contemporary dance's expressiveness and modern flair also fascinate me. That's wonderful. Have you had any prior dance training? Yes, I've taken a few beginner classes before. However, I'm really looking forward to delving deeper into dance and honing my skills. That's great to hear. What are your goals or aspirations in dance? I aspire to become more confident in my movements and perhaps perform on stage one day. But for now, I'm excited to learn and enjoy the journey. Those are fantastic goals, Eliza. We'll work together to nurture your confidence and refine your technique. Let's start today's session with some warm-up exercises to kick things off. Part 2. Exploring Dance Techniques Hi, Mr. Smith. I'm excited for today's class. Hello, Eliza. I'm glad to see your enthusiasm. Today, let's start by practicing some basic ballet positions. Sounds great. I remember a few from my previous classes. Perfect. Let's begin with first position. Stand with your heels together and toes pointing outwards. Like this? Yes, that's it. Now let's move into second position. Step one foot to the side while keeping your heels on the floor. Like this? Exactly. You're catching on quickly. Next, let's try third position by crossing one foot in front of the other. Like this? Yes, that's right. You're doing a fantastic job, Eliza. Let's continue with some more exercises to strengthen your technique. Part 3. Focusing on Technique Hi, Mr. Smith. I'm all set for today's class. Hello, Eliza. Your dedication is wonderful. Today, let's delve deeper into refining your ballet technique. I'm excited to learn more and improve. Let's begin with tendis. Stand tall with one hand on the bar for support. Extend one leg out with a pointed foot, then bring it back to the starting position smoothly. Like this? Yes, but try to maintain a straight supporting leg and engage your core for stability and control. I'll focus on that. Next, let's work on plies. Bend your knees while keeping your back straight and heels grounded. Is this correct? Almost there. Ensure your knees align with your toes to maintain proper alignment and prevent strain. I'll keep practicing to get it right. That's the spirit, Eliza. Consistent practice and attention to detail will help you refine your technique beautifully. Let's continue with more exercises to strengthen and stretch your muscles effectively. Part 4. Exploring Dance Movements Hi, Mr. Smith. I'm looking forward to today's class. Hello, Eliza. Your enthusiasm is contagious. Today, let's explore some new dance movements. That sounds exciting. What will we be learning? Let's start with some basic jumps like sades. Stand in first position, then jump up lightly and land softly with bent knees. Like this? Yes, that's it. Remember to keep your arms in a rounded position as you jump. Got it. What's next? Let's try some chasses. Start in third position, then step one foot to the side and glide the other foot to meet it. Like this? Exactly. Keep your movements fluid and controlled. This is fun. What else can we learn? Let's also practice some simple turns, like pirouettes. Start in fourth position, then turn on one foot while keeping your body upright and spotting your gaze. Like this? Yes, that's a good start. Focus on keeping your balance and finishing the turn smoothly. I'll keep practicing to improve. Great job, Eliza. Let's continue exploring these movements and adding more complexity as you progress. Part 5. Advancing Dance Techniques Hi, Mr. Smith. I'm excited to continue our dance class today. Hello, Eliza. Your enthusiasm is inspiring. Today, let's advance our dance techniques and work on some challenging movements. That sounds like a great challenge. What will we be learning? Let's start with develops. Stand in a strong first position, then slowly lift one leg to the front, side, or back while maintaining your balance and posture. Like this? Yes, exactly. Focus on keeping your supporting leg straight and your core engaged. I'll work on my balance and control. Next, let's practice some grand jetes. 
Start with a big leap from one leg to the other, stretching your legs in the air and landing softly. Like this? That's it. Remember to use your arms gracefully to assist in a jump. This is challenging but so rewarding. Absolutely, Eliza. Let's also work on some intricate footwork and transitions to enhance your dance vocabulary. I'm ready to learn and improve. Fantastic attitude, Eliza. Let's continue pushing our boundaries and exploring new dance techniques together. Part 6. Perfecting Routines Hi, Mr. Smith. I'm excited for today's class. Hello, Eliza. Your dedication to learning is admirable. Today, let's focus on perfecting some dance routines. That sounds wonderful. What will we be working on? Let's start with a ballet combination. We'll begin with tendis, then move into plies followed by a series of graceful arm movements. Sounds challenging but fun. It will be a great way to showcase your technique and artistry. Let's practice the steps slowly first. Like this? Yes, that's it. Now let's add some musicality and flow to the routine. I'm starting to feel the rhythm. Excellent, Eliza. Let's also work on a contemporary piece. We'll focus on fluid movements, emotional expression, and connecting with the music. I love contemporary dance. It's a fantastic way to explore your emotions through movement. Let's start by improvising to the music and then incorporate specific choreography. I'm ready to express myself through dance. That's the spirit, Eliza. Let's dive into these routines and bring out your unique style and passion. Part 7. Rehearsing for Performance Hi, Mr. Smith. I'm excited to work on our dance routines today. Hello, Eliza. Your enthusiasm is infectious. Today, let's focus on rehearsing for an upcoming performance. That sounds amazing. What will we be rehearsing? Let's start by going through our ballet combination again. We'll focus on precision, timing, and expressing the story behind the choreography. I'm ready to bring the story to life through my movements. Wonderful, Eliza. Let's also rehearse our contemporary piece. Remember to connect with the emotions of the music and express yourself fully. I'll give it my all. Great. Let's start with the ballet combination first. Follow my lead and let's add some artistic flair to our movements. Like this? Yes, that's it. Now let's transition smoothly into the next sequence. I'm feeling more confident with each rehearsal. That's fantastic progress, Eliza. Now let's move on to the contemporary piece. Let yourself be immersed in the music and let your emotions guide your movements. I'm ready to pour my heart into this performance. That's the spirit, Eliza. Let's rehearse with passion and dedication, aiming for a mesmerizing performance. Hi, Mr. Smith. I'm looking forward to today's rehearsal. Hello, Eliza. Your dedication to practice is impressive. Today, let's focus on polishing our dance routines for the performance. I'm excited to fine-tune everything. Let's start with the ballet combination. Pay attention to your posture, lines, and transitions between movements. Like this? Yes, that's looking much more polished. Now let's work on adding more emotion and storytelling to each step. I'll focus on expressing the character's journey through my movements. Great mindset, Eliza. Now let's move on to the contemporary piece. Remember to breathe, to connect with the music, and let your emotions guide your performance. I'm ready to dive into the emotions of the piece. Excellent. Let's run through the routine and make sure each movement flows seamlessly into the next. I'm feeling more confident with each run-through. Your progress is remarkable, Eliza. Keep up the fantastic work, and let's aim to deliver a captivating performance. I can't wait for our final rehearsal today. Your excitement is palpable. Today, let's focus on fine-tuning every detail for the performance. I'm ready to give it my all and make it the best it can be. Let's start by reviewing the ballet combination one more time. Pay attention to your technique, transitions, and maintaining graceful movements throughout. Like this? Yes, that's looking excellent. Now let's add an extra layer of emotion and connection to the story behind the choreography. I'll channel all my emotions into each movement. Wonderful mindset, Eliza. Now let's move on to the contemporary piece. Remember to be expressive, fluid, and fully immersed in the music. I'll let the music guide me and convey the emotions of the piece. Fantastic. Let's run through the routine with passion and dedication, aiming for a flawless performance. 
I'm feeling confident and ready to shine on stage. Your dedication and progress have been outstanding, Eliza. Let's make this final rehearsal count and deliver an unforgettable performance. Hi, Mr. Smith. I'm so excited for the performance today. Hello, Eliza. Your enthusiasm is infectious. Today is the day we showcase all our hard work and dedication. I'm ready to give it my all and make it a memorable performance. Let's take a moment to center ourselves before going on stage. Remember to breathe deeply and focus on the joy of dancing. I feel calm and ready to shine. That's the spirit, Eliza. Let's step onto the stage with confidence and passion, and let our love for dance shine through. Thank you, Mr. Smith, for all your guidance and support throughout this journey. It's been my pleasure, Eliza. Now let's go out there and dazzle the audience with our performance. Thank you so much for listening till the end.